Hello everyone, welcome to Unplug 404 and today we'll be talking about VMware Hands-On Labs Online. Actually, uh, one of my friends has given me this task to help him on a little assignment due to this COVID-19 outbreak. So I thought I should give it a go on some YouTube videos. So it's, it's pretty simple. We'll be making a template, a few templates, and we'll be creating virtual machines online through those templates. And it's, it's very easy, pretty much a basic work to follow. So you can just uh, uh, follow my lead and I'll just let you know how to go about it. I've been given set C, which has two parts. So first one is create a template from existing virtual machine and then create a new virtual machine from this template. Second part is create a template from existing virtual machine and then convert this template to virtual machine. So to do both of these activities, what we are going to do is we'll be opening a new tab and we'll go for HOL, HOL VMware Labs, lab which is the website, labs.hol.vmware.com and here in all catalogs we have to search 2010 virtualization 101 which is this one and we have to enroll for it and it's really important that we log in first so I have already saved my details so press login to access this virtualization lab and then click start this lab it'll take a while to start this lab actually so when you are on this window you have to click start lab As I told you, it might take some time to load. It depends on your internet connection. So we need to wait for a while. As we can see, it's the, the the console is loading, and let's just maximize it. Yeah. So now, uh, yeah. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to open Google Chrome first by double clicking here, and a vSphere client will open with a login window like this. And we need to enter login details to enter into the sphere client. So to get the login details, you have to open this readme file, copy the username from here, paste it, and same with the password, but I'll write it. It's important to check mark use Windows session authentication and click login. So we are logged in as an administrator. Now coming back to the question, it was about just, yeah. So coming back to the question. We have to create a template from existing virtual machine. So to create a template, what we are going to do is we are so first it's important to understand that this is a data center, site A data center, and beneath the data center there are various clusters and sites. So this is site A and cluster one, and under that we are having many several virtual platforms so these are the two virtual platforms and these three are the virtual machines two of them are running and the windows 10 is currently not running so we have to create let's say a template from already existing virtual machine this one so we'll select tiny linux 
and we will be cloning it by right clicking on Tiny Linux and then clone to template. After clicking this option, a dialog box will appear like this. And we have to name this template as let's say template one. Click next. Now we have to select the resource. So it's basically the destination where we want to store the template. So let's select the first one and click next. Now we have to select the storage. Let's go for the first one. Click next as it is having the highest capacity. Now click finish after reviewing all these details. Now wait for the left side to refresh. This will just refresh in a second like this. And now you can see it has two virtual machines. It's already mentioning here. So what we are going to do is we are there are already two virtual machines in this uh, virtual platform so we'll be going to VMs and VM templates here's the template which we saved so to make it into a virtual machine what we are going to do is we are going to right click template 1 and we'll be going to new VM from this template we need to select this option to create a new virtual machine from this template now after selecting this option you have to do the same process let's say we name it vm1 click next same we have to uh, select the cluster let's select cluster let's let's select the uh, virtual platform first one from cluster 1 and we have to select the storage disk the first one obviously because it's at maximum capacity now the interesting thing is we are having three options here which is to customize the operating system or from from the first option we can customize the settings of an operating system if we want or if you want to customize the virtual machine the hardware of this virtual machine or if we want to power on the virtual machine automatically right after you click finish here so on, for now I'm not going to select anything so we'll go and select next and after reviewing all these details click finish now wait again for this thing to reload here it is, it's reloaded. Now, what you have to do is to verify, simply click on virtual machines, and there you have it. VM1 is already there and visible, and it's turned off right now. So, moving on to the uh, second part of the question, which is you have to create a template from existing virtual machine and then convert this template to the virtual machine. To do that, we let's let's say let's say we go for this time Tiny Linux 2, and also you can see there are new virtual machine created here with all these already existing virtual machines. So to create a template again, we will be going for this time Tiny Linux 2, not for Tiny Linux. So right click Tiny Linux 2, go to Clone, clone to template. Let's say we name it as template 2. Click next. Now we have to select the resource, the destination. This time let's select the second one. Click next. And we will be selecting the same storage capacity. The first one, click next. And after reviewing this, click finish. Again, we have to wait for this left uh, uh, box to reload. It's reloaded now. Now, we have to go for the second one, the second virtual platform, and go to VMs just to check if your template is there or not. Go to VM templates, 
there it is template 2 which we just created now as you can see now we have to convert this template not to create a new virtual machine so to convert this template what we are going to do is right click this template and convert to virtual machine now we will be selecting convert to virtual machine for the second question same we have to select the resource let's select the second one click next and simple after reviewing this click finish now it's already reloaded and if you go and check the virtual machines in the second one there you have it template 2 has been created as a virtual machine and it's powered off and you can see it here as well template 2 has been created as a virtual machine and it has been turned off whereas in the first question where we had to create a new virtual machine from a template but we did not convert it from the template you can see the template is still there You can see the template is still there. It's the template is not converted. The template is there and the virtual machine, the new virtual machine from that template is also there. But in the second part of the question where we have to convert it, there is no template left. The template is converted, is changed into a virtual machine. So that's the difference between the conversion from template and new virtual machine from the template. So that's it from my side and uh, to log out you simply have to uh, you can simply do the power down to power down the console close down the console or you can simply click on end to completely end this lab end to end. So thank you for uh, your time and all the best and stay safe. Thank you.